Dan, you really needed a result there and you pulled one out the bag. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, just saying to the guys, and it's nice to be able to up your game when the pressure's really on. And um, I always feel like I can save my best for race day, and obviously to do it with only a couple of races left for the showdown is important. So, um, so that's what's most important. Also, it's nice to be able to fight with the guys in the front again and, and not lose too much on the leaders. Uh, we had a small issue problem about lap 10 with the bike, not tyre related. So hopefully we can uh, we can resolve that, and I can be a little bit stronger from from mid mid to end of the race for the next one. Good luck in that. Thanks, guys. James, you said you got the feeling back in the bike, and you proved it again with another podium today. It's kind of bittersweet, if I'm honest, because um, you know this is what I wanted the, the last three or four rounds. Now, you know, we stopped finishing on the podium after Knock Hill, and that was when we started experiencing this problem. So, um, yeah, we've been as a team been working really, really hard to fix that. It's been difficult to pinpoint what it was. We think we found well. We know what the area is. We just don't know exactly what's causing it. We've managed to kind of mask it a little bit with the electronics guys. They're um, obviously really, really clever with stuff like that. And uh, yeah, they've, they've worked the backsides off, mate. So, um, like I said to the other interview before, it's, uh, it, I owe it to them, really. I just wish we'd have found it earlier on. Um, but yeah, you know, that set aside, we've had a really good weekend. I felt again like I had the pace, I could just go and lead it and quite comfortably. Obviously, the guys were still close behind, but I felt comfortable in the lead. And I felt like if someone passed, I had a little bit left in reserve. But just towards the end, those, uh, those zero tyres are, are awesome. But as the grip goes, you just lose that entry grip. So what we're going to do is try and free the EBC up for the next... Uh, the next race, just so when I've got a button on my, on my handlebars that I can switch and just add a bit more two-stroke on it when the tyre gets worn out and I could maybe start braking a bit deeper because that's the only place I felt like I was losing to Leon just towards the end was on the brakes. So, uh, yeah, full credit to him, you know, he rode a fantastic race there, especially at the end, kept me honest, and uh, I enjoyed every minute of it, to be honest with you. I just uh, disappointed with the end result. Showdown place confirmed. Yeah, that's great. Obviously, for the team, we've just got Hickey now to, to get in it and it's job done for the team and then left for us to, to, to battle it out and, and see who's top dog. Congratulations, James. Let's bring in your teammate, Leon Haslam, who takes yet another victory. I tell you what, it's all falling into place, isn't it? Five points pulled on Shaky again. Yeah, you know, unfortunately it went down. Um, but, you know, we'll definitely take it. We've had some bad luck this year. But, uh, yeah, what more can I say? You know, one-two for the team again. Uh, Peter's pretty close for that top six showdown place. So, uh, hopefully we all can have a good third race of the day and, uh, you know, and get the maximum points we can. How uh, worried were you about whether the hard tyre would work as well as it did yesterday, given the track temperatures today? Well, we knew it wouldn't be as good because of the hotter conditions. Um, it was hard work. It was a lot harder than yesterday. Uh, I was losing so much drive to James and to, to Dan on the acceleration parts of the track. Um, but it was really good on consistency on braking and corner entry. So, you know, it was kind of a bit of a yo-yo effect. And I was just hoping that their tyre would drop a little bit faster. But it didn't seem to, that, you know, the attempt to stay there. And, and I was definitely struggling more than yesterday. My pace was slower at the end than it was yesterday. So, fingers crossed, we'll have a little bit cooler track temp this afternoon. And uh, we can have a little bit better rhythm at the end. Are you going to be greedy and go for the treble? That's the plan.